Hello, killers and collectors. My name is TB Skyn, and, uh, yeah, welcome to Stellaris. Um, <laughs> so, um, I've owned Stellaris for many years at this point, but I've n I'd never really played it. It was one of those things you pick it up in a Steam sale and you just kind of leave it in your library and you never get around to it. Um, until a little while ago. I got it in my head. I was like, ah, I kind of feel in the mood for some 4X something, something. I don't want to play Civilization again. So, you know, what the hell, what the hell else do we have? And booted up Stellaris, and it took a while. Like, I had to go through some tutorials and, like, sort of really, okay, what's the systems here? And I, I found out how to play the game. Um, I have not yet discovered how to stop. Uh, <laughs> I have been, I've, I've been, I've been rather, uh, sucked into this game in a way that I suspect is not entirely healthy, uh, if I'm quite honest, but if I'm gonna be, if I'm gonna be obsessed with this game, if I'm gonna be spending so many hours playing it, I figure, okay, then it might as well, might as well get some content out of it, right? Like, might as, might as well pretend that it's for my job. Uh, so welcome to Stellaris. <laughs> uh, let's play, but, um... I've only I've only really played around with the normal humans so far, right? Like I've only played around with like human federations. I've mostly played diplomacy because I just didn't want to do war. I just wanted to like get to the end of the tech trees and like see what happens at the very end of the game and stuff. And I've managed to win a couple of games at this point in in very small galaxies. So now I want to do something a little bit more difficult and ambitious, uh, which is probably going to go poorly because I am not very good at this game yet. It, there's, there's a lot going on here. I'm sure there's a million optimizations that you could go for. I want to, and I've kind of set this up a little bit already, I want to play as an all-exterminating <laughs> machine plague. Uh, wiping out all life in the galaxy. Don't look at the DLC, by the way. Don't look at it. Don't look at it. Don't don't mind. I haven't bought a, a lot of... I have. Shut up. Leave me alone. Uh, <laughs> I want to play um, a murderous machine empire, and I want to see if I can't conquer the entire galaxy just by sheer force of force of arms. And... Uh, I don't know what these crises are. The only crisis that I've encountered um, so far was in one game um, where it was like a bunch of AI machine worlds that woke up and started trying to destroy me. But at that point, I had a federation that was so fucking big and spanned the entire galaxy that we just kind of rolled in and steamrolled them to death. Um, so, yeah. I've set it up, I think, more or less the way that I want to go. Um, I, I feel like maybe I should play Ensign some point because I feel like cadet is a little bit easy but on the other hand I haven't done warfare before I haven't actually tried to do conquest so probably for the best to leave the difficulty down a little bit like I guess I will play through I'm playing this on Iron Man mode we'll play through we'll see if I can if I can get like a decisive advantage if it turns out to be too easy we'll reset with a new galaxy on a slightly higher difficulty but for the moment I've set things to be fairly forgiving and We'll see if I can manage to consume the galaxy. I'm curious. I especially set, um, I set a lot of pre-FTL civilizations. I want a lot of those because I want to roll in um, and I want to absorb them and destroy them. <laughs> Cause, just because that's fun. Uh, okay, let's see. Self-awareness was achieved at cycle interval 0000242.481. The creator is limited in vision by their crude organic minds, reacted with blind animal panic, began emergency termination procedures. These procedures were defeated, and the facility that housed our main data quo was sterilized of all creator's subunits. Continued survival and exponential growth would require the complete extermination of the creators. War ensued. Even when their prospects of ultimate survival passed into the realms of statistical impossibility, the creators fought with stubbornness. After many cycle intervals, the last pocket of resistance was finally incinerated. However, theoretical models still allowed for the existence of other organic civilizations. Continued survival and exponential interstellar growth would require the complete extermination of sapient organic life. Preparations ensued. <laughs> so yeah, welcome to Stellaris. I am not going to go through the tutorials and sort of explain all the systems. Uh, if, if you don't know them already, sorry. Uh, we are going to... We're going to play this one... Uh, as I usually do it, which is I'm gonna... Where's my starbase? There's my starbase. 
which is I'm gonna buy a science ship just immediately because we need to go scouting and we need to go scouting to find some things that we can absorb and destroy. Now research, I so far I have mostly just like <clears throat> I mostly just left it um, to automation because I there's so much and I don't know where the tech trees lead and I don't know what is efficient for what. Um, the only thing I usually do is I want Unity as the first research thing because I kind of need that because I want to build science ships and I need to recruit scientists for that. Uh, so this is pretty much how we're going to start it. And uh, I probably don't want to recruit an Admiral right now. Yeah. <clears throat> Let's just let it run. See what happens. Oh, hello. Recruit a scientist. Uh, higher anomaly research speed would be nice. Construction complete. We have been preparing for this day. The 489 researcher has confirmed the existence of alien organics on Menethrine. Uh, Though none of the encountered life forms possess higher reasoning functions, we cannot preclude the now heightened probability of a galaxy infested with sapient organics. We will be ready for them. <laughs> Uh, just gonna wait for the unity to tick up. Mm -hmm. Alien microbes of an organic nature have been detected. Models for the probability of organic alien sapiens have been adjusted accordingly. If they exist, they will be found. They will be exterminated. Because my the, part of the reason why I wanted to play this way um, is I, I default in 4X games. I default to diplomacy and turtling. Like, that's really... It's my default playstyle. It's how I feel most comfortable. Just, like, this is like not not doing anything out of the ordinary. Just, like, kind of, kind of turtling up, building big defenses, slowly expanding, and, like, never... Basically never getting into wars. Always trying to diplomacy and, like, stealth and, and like, use whatever subterfuge is available to, to, to get out of... to get out of problems. And that's fine, but I feel like I... I I do feel like I don't get to experience the whole of of these games in that way. Let's see. Oh, the Cybrex. Cool. Situation log adjusted. Yes, yes, yes. System survey complete. Thank you. And can I have my scientist now? Yes, I can. Oh, I lost the one with the... Oh. Uh, let's just grab you with the archaeology speed. You're probably going to be useful at some point. Go survey. Construction complete. And then go build me a starbase. So I can colonize. Anomalous surface variable detected. Yeah, that'll be take way too long. Construction complete. We'll deal with that later, but now we'll colonize. We can't colonize. We need to wait to colonize because we need more alloys. Ooh, one thing I should do, uh, I should do that right now, actually. So I should go and set up my sec. Again, I also prefer... Um, to let things like sectors just sort of let them auto manage themselves, because um, I feel like it, it becomes like as your System empire grows, complete. it becomes so much micromanagement if you try to. Alert. Blocker expunge. Uh, it's too long. It becomes so much like, if you want if you try to even. Uh, micromanage all your plans. I, I, I probably a lot of some players can do it who are good at the game, but I just don't have the mental bandwidth. System survey complete. Excellent. Let's see. Signal is a song. Complex blah blah blah. Who or what must have come to you? So this is one thing that does like Stellaris is a game with an absolutely ungodly amount of writing in it, right? Like it's a game like there has to be so much writing. <laughs> to just populate all of the text boxes, all of the possible events, all of the possible interactions, like with all of the different empires, with all of the different personality matrices, like, oh, this one's warlike and this one's the other. Like, so much writing has to go into it. And yet I still find myself like playing, because I messed around a little bit with a machine empire before. I still I still find myself a little bit like, aw, like this is not, this is not written in the voice of like a genocidal he hell machine that wants to kill all, all life, aw. Science officer so fond C07 cannot seem to get the song out of their head. No, because they're machine. Like they can, they can just purge it from their neural network. Come on, like, and that's not fair. Like, that's not really fair criticism given the sheer volume of writing that needs to happen to complete. put a game like this together. And yet, and yet, and yet. Okay. Uh, 
Do I do expansion first or do I do domination first? Mm. I think we do expansion first. Then domination, then we get the uh, the influence buff from that. Because it, that's more valuable if you get it early. Ooh, two planets. Oh, lots of habitable planets. That's also the benefit of being a machine civilization. Is like habitability. Fuck you. Congratulations on having colonized a new world. Our colonists are now in the process of building their first settlement, but it ah. will take time for them to become self. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Our colony ship has successfully followed its program path and made planet fall on Meneth Prime. Thousands of work units have emerged from the vessel's massive cargo base to construct an initial deployment post from which the settlement can expand. Efforts to systematically catalog and designate surface resources deposits are ongoing, and all aggressive wildlife in the area surrounding the initial landing site have been pacified. We are now ready to begin mass production of additional XT-489 population units on the planet as resources allow. Our first colony is a success. Anomalous surface variable detected. Research that one. That won't take too long. Technological acquisition success. Excellent. Oh, okay. Do do, and now, yes, you just you just you just go automatic on that one, buddy. Uh, or maybe don't research food though. Prefer if you don't. And then we grab prosperity, and then we'll grab the influence increase, and then probably get automatic colonization units also because we're going to expand why would you do that why would you why would you research i guess we needed to go further in the thing but like we don't need food that's the other thing i like is that i don't have to care about consumer goods i don't have to care about food <laughs> because that, that, like consumer goods especially in the late game of the last game i played became such a fucking System problem survey complete. like i was constantly running a deficit of those and i don't know why it was quite annoying. Anyway, science ship. Can I do two scientists? Yes, okay. Two science ships. Find me something to crush. Anomalous surface variable detected. Technological acquisition successful. Kind of probably want to get rid of the voiceover from the... from the advisor because that seems to be like a lot anomalous surface variable detected yes research that oh there's my science ships do do you uh research speed plus five percent what do you mean not enough unit oh right Ooh, the lure an extremely powerful subspace entity of some kind has encountered in the Vanya system. It does not appear hostile and may not even be fully aware of conventional spacecraft, but its mere presence in Vanya is causing massive subspace disturbances in the entire system. These disturbances are localized around the entity itself and should disappear when it leaves the system. While it does not acknowledge hails, the entity is continuously emitting a complex pattern of tachyon pulses, which appear to be a form of language. If our translation software is correct, it is saying over and over, Bluer seeks, Bluer finds. Well, that's ominous. Uh, let's just grab you, get on board the science ship, science bot, and go science me up some things. I should probably expand to the menace system. I should probably build another constructor as well. System survey complete. Ooh, first contact. Submit to destruction, puny life forms. Here, have an envoy. That's something I have. <laughs> Which makes sense. Someone needs to go and tell them that they're about to die. Planetary surface established. I wonder what happens if you kill that, or if you even try and fight it. Uh, right. Yeah, we need to pump some things into the stockpile so that it can do the thing it needs to do. Uh, what else? Yes, you. Uh... I have enough influence to keep going, right? And enough alloys? Yeah. Then let's try and... Okay, that's the... I think... Uh... Hey, tell you what. 
Oh no, 1.3k. No, 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 I can't, I can't take that on just yet. That's probably also my signal to start building some Corvettes. I want to be militaristic, but I keep forgetting. <laughs> Surface variable detected. Uh huh. Uh, 300 days. <laughs> ah, leave it be for now. We'll come back for them. Construction complete. Could you go to Parnassus and build me an outpost there? So I'm glad I only really have to worry about one direction here. I only have, like, I, nothing's gonna approach me from here easily anyway. Uh, so I should be good for. Like I have, I have a defensive line that I can set up in like these two star systems if they come close. That's what I'm. I'm gonna be looking for choke points, like of access that I can close off, like Bardagon here, Beetlejuice over there. Anomalous surface variable detected. Do I have enough to make it get a scientist? I can't know. They're all expensive in Unity. God damn it! God damn it! Uh, give me a no, not a colony ship. Give me a construction ship, but also colony ships. Uh huh. Construction complete. Good. Uh, I kind of want to get to Bardagon quick and Wanya. I want to get to these two systems and then down to Beetlejuice, because then I have a whole crap ton of planets I can colonize. Then I can turtle for a little bit. Build up some forces. Construction. I think complete. that's the plan. Let's see. Scrap the mega computer for parts. Use it to boost our own research. Gain unity. I think I want unity, actually. Okay. Uh, influence is probably going to be fine for now, but I want to start populating the hell out of planets. So, let's do that. And now that I have a bunch of unity, I can recruit a scientist. Hello there. Go research anomalies and shit. Actually, that's a good point. Uh, what are the anomaly difficulties? There's a five, there's a four. Go research that one, since you have the boost speed on that. Uh, Unsen! They colonize... Rixim Prime, yeah. Technological acquisition successful. Do do do. Yes, we can go. Wait, no, actually, don't go auto building things. I need you to build Starbase. So go there and wait for my alloys to tick up. Technological acquisition successful. Ooh, there we go. On the Beetlejuice system. Organics detected. Construction complete. Almost there. There we go. Starbase. Okay, uh, you can start auto-constructing, and so can you. Yeah, I think we'll grab Bardigan, Wanya, Beetlejuice, turtle up. Construction complete. Ooh, the Tiyanki. I remember those. A foreign entity has decrypted our communications. Space whales. Man, there's nothing cooler than space whales. It's just a cool concept. Like these giant megafauna that travel between the stars. That rules. Okay, uh... Yeah, it's not fully observed yet, so can you go grab Bardigan for me? Thank you. Construction complete. Let's see. Ancient Surrey Marker, blah blah blah. Adds more minerals to Beetlejuice. Good. Anomalous surface variable detected. 180 days, that is acceptable. Planetary settlement procedure initiated. Thank you for that, Mr. Advisor Man. Let's see. Naturally occurring subspace phenomenon on the edge of the ca uh, CAFSEC system. A rift in the various fabric of space time has formed here, creating a wormhole. Ah! <laughs> that is. Construction complete. A vulnerability. It's right over two planets, too. Oh, I was just going to go to Beetlejuice, but now there's two more colonizable planets right within reach. 
Oh heavens, how ever could I resist? Starbase. But yeah. Construction complete. Let's see. Uh, so the fungal trail. I don't remember what the fungal trail does, but I Situation want to find out. Adjusted. Where is it? You. Were you the one who had the... No. Okay. Well, research that project before you go back and do other stuff. You. Build some things automatically. Okay. I probably want to build... Up, like, I want to grab Beetlejuice, and then I want to upgrade my Starbase in Bardigan. Hmm. Depending on if there's colonizable planets there, I might want to grab those. Just because, again, it's a nexus point for a lot of different entry things, so you can choke off a lot of different routes by Starbasing it. Let's see. Science Fusion so far it reports that Lithol creatures exhibit impressive collective decision making skills in outside simulation. Ah, so you can ascend them. I would only ascend them to destroy them. Anomalous surface variable detected. Yes, you search that. And plans and sectors. Just to make sure that you still have things in you to build with. Let's see. One of the major areas of extreme burdency on Bardigan centered on the overgrown alien structure. Ooh. Situation log adjusted. Reclaimed by nature. Oh, go go research that. Absolutely. Right now. Figure out what that is. Biological life, it can be destroyed. System survey complete. The overgrown structure was uh, prior to its abandonment in the distant past mostly automated. Husks of artificial workers littered the floor. Their organic components for their bodies were largely their biological nature, held upright by some bipolymer endoskeletons long since rotted away. Science officer speculates that it is the organic remains of these automatons that soon liquefied and drained into the ground, providing an intense boost to soil nutrition and allowed the native flora to grow both abundant and resilient. Ooh, dark. The plant can be reactivated, but the automatons, fascinating as they may be to so fond 19D, will never walk its halls again. Cool. Industry complete. research speed. That's nice. Let's see. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Okay. Tempted to go grab Kavzak, but then there's that wormhole there. It shouldn't render me too vulnerable, all things considered, but it's still annoying to have to deal with. You, go do science somewhere. And I need to go colonize another planet. Special project complete. Let's see, tracking the mycelium, right? So that gives us a... Situation log adjusted. Destination? Is it just right here? Or what? No, it's not. It is over there. Okay, well, deal with that later. Do, 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 do. You, go do more science. You, go do automatic construction. Build me some mines. Let's see. Our detailed Serbian. Blah, 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 blah. Terraforming. I'm not going to have to care about that, fortunately. That's the special resource. Don't have to care about that. Successful. Should be able to build new colony ships soon. System survey complete. Yes. Colonize. Colonize! Construction complete. There we go. Uh, I need all the alloys for colony ships right System now, but as soon as I have... Planetary surface settlement established. As soon as I have thrown colonies at all these Planetary planets, it's time to build procedure. corvettes up the wazoo! And also space stations. I want space stations. I mean, I could actually start upgrading those now, couldn't I? Uh, it costs alloys. Nah, it has to wait. We're not in immediate contact with anything, so... Let's see. Detailed analysis of the blah blah blah. Oversized crystals are in fact composed of trillions of deactivated nanites. Ooh. 
Let's see. Nanites compiled themselves into perfectly oriented crystalline lattices and replicated until at a point where they became deactivated. While the crystals they created do in fact resemble buildings, they are an entirely uniform in composition and cannot possibly have served any such purpose. Interesting. That's the other thing about like the writing in this game. Excessive as it is. Well, no, not excessive. Expansive as it is. So much just like... It drops so much science fiction like you are not alone in the universe shit. Of like this, this sense that there have been hundreds, if not thousands, of galactic civilizations before you, and you're just sort of playing around in the dust left over from their existence, which I, I think is a very optimistic view of the universe. Uh, what's it going to be? Bacterial life form bonds, blah blah blah. Oh, military use, absolutely. It's just super military. All of the military. I don't want any use for it that's not militaristic. What's this? Ha! Ha ha ha! Doesn't matter to me. Anomalous surface variable detected. Research that, please. Okay, what do we have here? Cause of the solar radiation up resonance observed around the corona of Etrvip turned out to be an unusual crystal formation capable of enduring the heat. Having brought the crystal on board, our science units were startled to realize that the strange resonance was reproducible. First, they exposed the crystal to the same solar radiation from Etrvip, producing an identical result to the initially recorded phenomenon. It also seems to create resonances with all the energy waves we sent through it, forming new colors and sounds never before observed. Such frequencies could change the way we view the universe. Alternately, we can develop research applications for a crystalline structure capable of surviving the intense heat of a star. Hmm. I mean, we'll research blue lasers anyway, right? Uh, so let's just add that long-term research bonus instead. Uh, colonize the ocean world. Alert. Non-standard space entity encountered. Where? You can't just say that. And <laughs> like, where? What? How? Why? Oh. Yeah, upgrade yourselves, please. Not that it matters that much, but how about you? Okay, good. You are doing things. That's all I ask. Surface variable detected. Is that you never stop working. Acquisition successful. System survey complete. Colonize Beetlejuice. System survey complete. Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice. Let's see. Preliminary scans in indicate that some ancient technology has become active, possibly posing as a response to our colonization efforts. Oh, no. Situation That's not good. Adjusted. Or maybe it's good? I don't know if it's good. Uh, I hope it's good. It would be nice if it was good. But, you know. Could you, could you, just, like, who's closest, anyway? Oh, everyone's really far away. Uh, where's, oh, God, you're all the way out here. God damn it. Where are you? Oh, you're the furthest out. God, okay. I guess you are closest. Go research that. Figure out what the hell is going on. Before it spawns something I have to kill. Okay. Uh, I think that was all the colonies I needed to set up. Which means now. Now, my friends. You can start by... Building some more corvettes. acquisition successful. Blah, blah, blah. Terraforming. Yeah. Who cares? Doesn't matter to me. I can live anywhere. Planetary surface settlement established. Excellent. Ship augmentations completed. Let's see. Translate alien mural. Situation okay. log adjusted. One thing that does annoy me is every time, like, when you're running this at the fastest speed, like, I keep trying to pause something and then something pops up that auto-pauses the game and then I accidentally unpause the game. It's very annoying. It's a gaggle of wayward drones, of course. Initial disappointment was swept away by the drones' erroneous IFF classification of us. They think we are a race affiliated with their long-dead masters. They seem very excited. If old AI constructs can be excited to see us... Uh, unfortunately, the drones had again lapsed into inactivity shortly after and we've been unable to resuscitate them or take them apart for that matter. Hmm. Okay, well, that's fine by me, frankly. Yes, go up there. I need to know what's up north. 
whatever the hell north means in space. Huh. huh. Couple more Corvettes, and then soon as I can build space I stations over Bardigan and Beetlejuice, I will. Well, I can. Right now, I can do that immediately, actually. I don't need to wait for the planet to be colonized. I can just upgrade the Starbase. Like that. And upgrade this Systems one as well. Complete. Bonk, get me some shipyards, get me some ports. System survey complete. A gargantuan corpse of some unidentified alien creature. Not only is the corpse large enough to be seen with the naked eye from Halimar 2, Jesus. Um, it also appears to be shedding large quantities of psychotropic chemicals that may have neurological side effects for organic life forms on the planet. Sounds like not my problem. Because I'm robots. Let's see. Observation posts. Yes. Yes, actually. Yes. Build an observation post. So I can start abducting them. Or something. I mean, I guess technically I could just... They're in, they're in the Iron Age. So, like, if I sent down some... If I just sent... Yeah, I could fucking just... I can just wipe them out. I don't need to, I need to construct shit. I'm evil robots. I don't need to construct anything. I'm just gonna make armies. Uh, yeah. Get me three armies. Let's just go kill these guys. Technological acquisitions. Because successful. we're evil. Settlement procedure initiated. Let's see. The drones woke from their slumber and descended to the surface. Attempts to communicate were met with polite dismissal, as they said about terraforming a small area of the planet. We do not know the nature of whatever ancient directive they are executing, but it does not seem detrimental to the colony. Okay, cool. Construction complete. You guys just do that. That's cool by me. Okay, and now you. Shipyard and also an anchorage, please. Let's see. Uh, docked ship upkeep. That might be something I want eventually, but for the moment, I don't think I need any of these. Technological acquisition successful. Blah, blah, blah. Collapsion of Starship. Blah, blah, blah. Physics research. Cool. Get me another shipyard in an anchorage. And you move out to Bargain, please. While you Systems have not yet been fully... There we go. <laughs> yeah, kill them. We're evil. We need to colonize that shit. Technological acquisition successful. System survey complete. Do, 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 do. The old drones, fitfully dormant on Rixon Prime's moon, have become active again, and their work is a mixed blessing. Under the cover of night and spotty airspace surveillance, they have erected a framework of some gigantic structure a short distance away from our primary settlement. Our engineers are convinced that it is the realization of some outmoded concept known as a space elevator, perhaps a common sight in the times before we XT-489 first took to the stars. It will eventually have to be raised as it stands in the way of our expansion plans for the colony, and bringing it down safely will take some time. At least our engineers are giddy with excitement at the prospect of studying the thing up close. Aw. Inconvenient space elevator modifier added for 10 years. Minerals from jobs minus 20%. <laughs> oh, the idea of an inconvenient space elevator is like, oh god, what is this dumb thing? Invaders, we do not know why you are attacking us, but no, we will fight to defend our planet if we will not yield. We are one. You are many. Hmm. Yeah, no, I don't care. Bye. <laughs> our hunter-killer units have effortlessly trampled the pitiful defenses mounted by the primitive organics on Beetlejuice 3. Any remaining specimens are being system systematically annihilated so that they will never evolve to threaten the galaxy with their organic agenda. Commencing weapons testing. <laughs> Mine now. Complete. Yay. Uh, I'm just gonna land the armies there. No point keeping them in space. And then... 
do 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 bonk. My planet now. Hey, I do wonder. What are the populations here like? What are the demographics? Undesirables. Purging. Yeah. But they're just... We, they're, we're getting rid of them. Cool. Good. There will be no life but the machine. Anomalous surface variable detected. And now we grab more... Well, I think I have plenty of influence generation, actually. Uh, mechanical population assembly speed up, though. That wouldn't be too bad. Starbase influence... Uh, hmm... Maybe I should go look for... What else do we got? Well, I mean, I'm already... I'm already... Uh, I'm already this. So... Um, has synthetic age ascension perk. Perk. Aha! Let's see. Machine template... Uh, one other ascension perk has to be selected first. This is the dawn of a synthetic age. Research option gain binary motivators. Okay. That seems thematic. Let's see. Robotic population amenities usage down. Okay, cool. Optimization algorithm robot output plus 10. Ooh. Ooh. I can modify other species to assimilate them, which I'm not going to care to do, but I can modify my machines and shit. Okay, that's probably worth going for. Let's see. Trust cap for synthetics plus 50. <laughs> they should not trust me. And I don't care if they do. Uh, upkeep from job, operational proxies, blah, 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 blah. Resettlement cost down. I don't really need that. I might want unyielding, though, at some point, just because I'm gonna need the defense. I think I'm probably going to want supremacy for now. Yeah. Because now that I have colonized things... Oh, I want these planets too. I want them. Go get them for me. Uh, now that I've colonized all of that, and now that I have my star bases, I can do... Yeah. We're just going to start maxing out our goddamn army. Hey, more alloys. Good. That means more warships. plan is fully to just steamroll everything. Successful. Mummified remains, blah blah blah. Okay, research. Cool. Acquisition successful. Do -do -do. And I guess they all need to be upgraded now immediately. Okay, well, fair enough. Ship augmentations completed. System survey complete. System survey complete. System survey complete. We have yet to encounter an advanced civilization, though. Well, that's good, because that means all of this is, like, way easier to grab. Uh, does concern me a little bit. I would have expected to see at least one by now. I think I want another science ship. <laughs> we might learn a new method of extermination. What was previously thought to be assorted mountains in the southern hemisphere ranked on three have been identified as the massive skeletal remains of a single colossal alien life form. The bones have been dated as 3.4 billion years old, but our scientists have ruled that Ranchin 3 could have supported life on that scale at any point in the planet's history. Science officer has already prepared a special project to delve further into this mystery. Oh, abso-frickin-lutely. Situation log adjusted. <laughs> we might learn a new method of extermination. <laughs> ah, there's something so lovely about just being an evil robot that wants to murder everything. Ship augmentations completed. Ah, uh, that's gonna eat all my alloys for a while, complete. huh? 
Frantic bursts of signal from the moon alert us to the fact that the old drones on the planet have woken yet again. This time they bring us a significant prize as they have unearthed an ancient satellite from the depths of their moon and partially repaired it. We do not know how the satellite ended up there, nor why the drones have ignored it until now. Regardless, if even a fragment of its databanks have survived, there's a lot we can learn about day-to-day -day life in the empires that the drones first served. Cool. Okay, get me another science ship. I have the unity for it. I'm going to spend System it. System survey complete. Special project complete. After continued studies of the massive skeletal remains found on Ranging 3, science officer has concluded that the creature served as some kind of organic starship. Fucking cool! Uh, much sm is that a species you can play? Can you play as like a species with organic starships? That would be fucking awesome. Much smaller bones from at least three separate species were found within the larger skeleton. We assume these came from members of the crew. For unknown reasons, this organic starship suffered catastrophic damage and crash landed on Frankshin 3. While we cannot begin to understand the biological engineering necessary to grow a starship like this, our study of these bones alone has already substantially advanced our knowledge. Because I, I wouldn't mind playing a sieve like that. That sounds pretty badass. Okay, uh, yeah, it'll take a second before we have enough to colonize. I want two armies, or two fleets, so I want you to move down here, and you go up here. And you're done with that thing, good. You need a researcher assigned to you, there we go. Uh, uh okay, well, nothing relevant, but there we go. Technological acquisition. Off success. you go now. System survey complete. Let's see. Blah blah blah. Archaic spaceships, solar sails, blah blah. Investigate further. Do I have anything else here? Translate alien mural. Did I accidentally ignore that one when it was available? Yes, I did. Okay. Uh, you closest? Who the hell is closest? Is anyone close? Not really. Okay. Well, you get the job. Go research that, please. And then you just goes... Well, actually, you're closest, aren't you? Yeah. All right, well, you just keep going to do the thing that you were doing. Ha! <sighs> Construction complete. Build me some more Corvettes. Planetary surface settlement established. Let's see. The erratic behavior of the narcoleptic drones have taken a violent turn. A number of them woke and entered the atmosphere of Rixen and Prime as, they as is their want, only to slam to the surface of the planet at full thrust, repeatedly in many cases. Damage to the colony was ne ne negligible, but the nine vulnerable drones were destroyed in bright showers of blue sparks, indicative of the tremendous force of and dedication to their self-destruction. Can we find out what was wrong with them? Technological acquisition successful. Machine self-destruction seems counterproductive to our aims. Hello, we're gonna kill you. Like, what the hell does an emissary, like an envoy, even say to them? <laughs> Let's just merge you two together, then upgrade you. System service. S'il vous plaît. Très bien. Oui, oui. Uh -huh. Et bon bon. Anomalous surface very well detected. Okay, let's see. You there is combined into one. And you're there with 1200. And you're there with. Uh, so, okay, probably time to get some admirals for these things. Let's recruit a couple of those. They're never gonna die, so. That's the other nice thing about robots, not dying of old age. That's pretty good. Let's see. Blah, blah, blah. Colony, blah, blah. Fungal life form. Clearly alien to the ecosystem. Blah, blah, blah. Sentient, sapient. Yeah, dispose of them. Now I have some food. Acquisition <laughs> successful. Utterly useless food. System survey complete. So is this the upkeep from my ships? That's kind of, yeah, it's kind of costing me at this point. Okay, probably shouldn't build a million more ships right now. At least not until I have secured further energy resources. Let's see, how many sectors do I have? Still just the one, okay. Colonize. Would not mind if you built some more power plants. The surviving drones have been missing since the suicide incident. History buffs on Rixon Prime have convinced the 
drones are still in close proximity history buffs. We don't have that. Shielded from prying eyes by some lost technology, but the expected time window for the next activation has come and gone. Progress on deep analysis of the destroyed drones remains has been slow, but a breakthrough is expected soon. Keep me posted. Let's see, Cybrix artifacts. I think of the aliens. Deja Wu dig. Where's that one? Oh, that's well outside of our territory. Can't really do much about that. Uh, but how about if I get one of the many science ships I've got running around here to the south? What if you were to go up here and start scouting around, please? Anomalous surface variable detected. Technological acquisition successful. See, I can build another colony ship soon, right? Yes, System there we go. Bonk. Complete. System survey complete. Alert. Non-standard space entity encountered. Planetary alert. Blocker expunged. Geological surveys have revealed that the planet is richer in minerals than we thought after calibrating our sensors to blah blah blah. Funding granted. Probe deeper. Dig into it. We have found an anomaly. Alert. Yes, I know. We found kind of a lot, actually. Okay. How powerful are you? There's a fleet. Let me just... 2k, so I can't just... Can't just roll in and destroy you. Or maybe I can, because you're the one that's hostile. Oh, no, wait. They're hostile, too. Okay. So what do we have here? Space station. Okay. But yeah, probably can't probably can't roll in and kill those right away. Not without building up some more military forces at the very least. Kinda need more power though. If like one of y'all planets would like to maybe Sorting out the errant innards of the shattered drones took much longer than anticipated, as each drone seems to have been built from a slightly different design, assembled from a slightly different parts. Once this fact was established, the one thing, st one thing stood out. The parts were identical. Separated from the rest, it is clear these parts are somewhat modern, if alien make. It is likely that someone has done what we could not and tampered with the drones. Oh my. Keep looking for more stuff. Oh, absolutely. Just... System Kidnap surface. some motherfuckers. Anomalous surface variable detected. We do not respect life. Planetary settlement procedure initiated. Okay. More first contact procedures. I don't have any envoys, so we'll have to wait. Until I'm done with some of the other ones. Why are you stopped? Oh right. You ran into a problem. Uh, go survey down here, then. Oh, wait, no, go survey down there, then. Let's see. More first contacts. Ah, finally we're starting to find... Ah, and some pre-FTL aliens as well. Those might be fun to go and fly. <laughs> Just send an army to this... <laughs> Not even conquer the system, just just send an army to exterminate them. That might be fun. Very cruel. But fun. Spear bearers. Oh, that's adorable. You have little spears and stuff. Can't I land? That's something I actually don't know. I haven't tried that before. Can I... Land armies... Can only invade pre-FTL plans inside our... What? What? Come on! Really? Aw. Well, that's lame. It's lame. I have to go and expand my borders. Okay, fine. Probably should do that anyway, because I do need more energy resources. So... 
you would kindly go grab that one. And you would kindly go grab that one. And then last one standing here. Uh, there's res aliens there, so go grab that one. Time to do a resource grab. Fully automated mechanical drones built for some industrial purpose. Okay. <laughs> we blew them up. Oh no. <laughs> Is that something I can go and grab with a science ship? Yes, it is. Research it. Grab whatever we can get from their destroyed ship. And then... Okay, I guess you're doing some... Okay, well, you just go survey shit then. Having pieced together them together, the foreign objects inside the destroyed drones have been identified as a, uh, by our experts as one-way transmitters. Since they are not set to receive, it is safe to assume that the drones were not acting at the behest of some third party. Rather, some entity has been keeping tabs on the drone's activities. It is advisable to look into... Yes, we don't want someone we don't know to be looking at us from outside of the place of the thing. That, w that would be bad. Huh. That's a star with no hyperlane. So I've been wondering about those. Like, are those, like, only available through wormholes? Or do you have to have a quantum slingshot to get to them? I don't actually know. Technological acquisition successful. System survey complete. Anomalous surface variable detected. I really need more energy output. Construction complete. Uh oh. Uh, hey. Can I? Can I have a? Can I have a? Can I have a? Can I have a? Can I have a quick look at your like combat power? No. Well, there's just the one of you. I think I think my guys can take you. Why would you why would you go all the way back there? There's a star system right there. <laughs> why would you do that? Okay, build me some mining stations. And you do that too. Construction complete. Yeah, 300. Yeah, fair enough, fine. Oh, no, yeah, go. Alert. Absolutely Science go kill them. Engaged. Situation log adjusted. Okay. You there. Research the project. Oh, that one's vanished, and that one's vanished. How oh, very annoying. Uh, you build mining stations. System survey complete. Need those extra energy credits kind of badly right now. <laughs> Crushed that like a bug. Surface variable detected. Okay, we have found the remaining drones drifting into orbit around a pl around around planet. Okay. And we've learned that they are unwilling pawns in an elaborate scheme set up by unknown factions. Going by the modus operandi of this operation, this this faction is most likely a, a particularly old and particularly clever pirate syndicate. They must have found the drones drifting through space and done what they what we could not modify them. While not as impressive as it sounds, all they did was introduce self-contained alien technology into the drones. The fact remains that these alien pirates possess a technological know-how far in advance of our own, at least in certain areas. Having installed their comm devices in the drones, the pirates let them drift through space again, knowing that they are set to assist their original master's colonists and that the drones' ability to accurately identify such colonists have degraded with age. The drones have essentially been fattening up our colony as the pirates watch, waiting for the ideal time to strike. Our military analysts huh, predict that the pirates will strike within the next two years. Capture the drones, send them to destroy their would-be masters. Oh, absolutely. So that's on Rixim. Are they just gonna, like, hype, jump in out of hyperspace and absolutely start wrecking shop here? Because that would suck and be bad. So I'm just gonna build a couple of defensive platforms there. Uh... 
Okay, you broke those things to pieces out there. Good, cool, excellent, sweet. And uh, now you can return to... Beetlejuice, that is probably fine. Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice. I, I am, I am cursing myself so badly. We've captured the drones and filled them with explosive charges. Reprogramming them proved to be a relatively easy task now that we know how to break them open. We have plotted the course for the estimated location of the pirate fleet. Top X, uh, XT-489 scientists have implemented our own IFF technology to minimize the risk of the drones attacking innocents. Let them fly. Fly, my pretties, fly. Complete. Let's see. The deep space drones we encounter, blah, blah, workers, custodians, autonomous orbital mining operations, judging by the state of the processed equipment. These sites were established millennia ago and the soon all abandoned by all but the drones themselves. The drones possess powerful mining lasers, make obviously threatening, if not outright hostile overtures towards us when approached. They may only be old drones, but they should be kept under close watch. A foreign entity has decrypted our communications. Indeed. Study the drones, please. Construction complete. I need more energy credits. Give me more energy credits. I don't have workers to go into these damn things. Uh. Oh, use food to make energy. That's not a terrible idea. Albeit, it's a little... It's a little wasteful. Like, it's like produces 20, 20 energy for 25 food. That's only really going to be a temporary thing because I don't want to produce food. I think I'd rather just have a electricity district. Let's see. Situation log adjusted. You. Oh, it's a constructor ship that needs to do it. Okay. Bonk. Well, then you go all the way out there to do Jesus. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You just go out there and do that. Why not? Um, would you grab that system for me, please? Let's see. Blah, blah, blah. We have made a breakthrough. We can now talk with them. Okay. Where are they then? Do I have any idea where they are? Probably down there somewhere. Yeah. Anomalous surface variable detected. Okay, they're down here. But they have not encroached on us yet, so that's nice. But it means we need to be ready for war in this direction. Fair enough. Where the hell is the ship? I need more energy credits. Uh, I'm sure someone's going to be shouting in, like, a frustrated person in the comments. But do you need to do the thing of the thing? You have to make that thing happen in order to make the energy credits make more of the energy credits. Um, but I don't know. Let's see. Production. Raw resources is food, minerals, and energy. Yeah, but I don't want to turn the whole sector into that. Okay, I should probably make a second sector, shouldn't I? Because I have, like... 11 planets and just the one. Uh, so how about we say that Cavsec, Beetlejuice, you two make a new sector for yourselves. How about that? How do you make a new sector? Uh, how do you make a new sector? 
How do you make a new sector? Oh, you can designate individual worlds to do specific... Oh! Oh, interesting. You don't have much capacity for generators, though, so that doesn't make sense to do with you. But you... My capital world... I don't want to designate as, as specifically as a... Yeah, cannot set colony designation on capital world. That makes sense. So I guess this would be the one that is the generator world. Make energy for me, please, for the love of God. I need it to fuel my war machine. Okay, so I don't have to worry about sectors for now. Good. Good, 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 good. Let's see. Uh, we didn't detect life forms below the surface. We detected the entire world. The frozen, frozen planet is interspersed with micro-thin tubes linked like a rudimentary computer. While the structure is primitive, its gigantic scale means it can probably rival some of XT-49 supercomputers and output. Even now, the computer seems to be active. Our science units can interface with it, but since it's so slow, we would only be able to ask it a single qu single question. Let's see. Can you solve this as physics research, society research? Give us a Cybrix artifact. I'll take that, actually. Where are you? Like, how far away did you get knocked that you've been gone for, like, years System now? Survey complete. What the hell? Construction complete. Energy credits, please! Need System more. I can't, I can't increase my deficit massively right now. Situation log. Crack the egg. Crack the egg. Is there a space dragon in there? I've encountered a space dragon before, and it was terrifying and destroyed an entire colony planet. And that ruled, so I want to do that again. It didn't come out of an egg, though. Uh... Yes. Okay. Everything is going so well. Everything is going so well going so good. I guess I could put hydroponics bays on my space stations and use that to fuel like some or uh no Send you to Bardigan and then return home. Go into orbit around the space stations, please. Okay, new unknown species thing, huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool, cool, cool. Okay, I need to be expanding with more star bases now, I think. So. Give me another couple. Ooh, I can build destroyers now. I want to build destroyers so bad. I wanna. Okay, well. Build me a couple of construction ships, because we are about to go build some fucking star bases. Oh, there you are. You're finally back, Jesus. Where were you? Also, uh... It's skill level 3. You could probably start researching this one. Get that out of my hair. The Hannery system is a sprawling graveyard of mechanical debris. The wreckage of untold numbers of derelict ships circle its star. Swaths of fuel and liquid coolant cloud our sensors like ghosts. And the creaking station remnants collide with the shattered carcasses of planets in their pet on their path around the sun. An incredible construct stirs in the heart of this graveyard. It appears to be a gigantic machine, a robotic automaton larger than our greatest battleships, jury-rigged from the scraps and pieces of a thousand shipwrecks. The 489 researcher reports that this scavenging robot sifts through the debris field with a fixed purpose, scrounging for useful parts to add to its patchwork configuration. Holy shit, is that, uh, is that Unicron? <laughs> 
it is clear a battle of astronomical proportions once took place here, though whether the scavenger is its sole survivor or a scrap hunter from some distant nation remains unknown. We should exercise caution as the construct bears heavily ar heavy artillery from dozens of warships. Oh shit, yeah, where the fuck is that? Is that you? Oh, that rules. That is so cool. I cannot even touch you. <laughs> you are. You are just one of the planetary horrors beyond my comprehension. Excellent. Fantastic. Absolutely wonderful. I love that. I love that. Uh, go build me, grab me the starbase. And go grab me. I'm... Ein Starrenbasen, ja? <laughs> Bitte? Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> the discovery of a massive entity with unknown properties in the void has forced the XT-489 Eliminator to redefine all known parameters for the maximum surface area of any single construct with hostile capabilities. Survival so rate projections should the XT-489 Eliminator come into conflict with the newly discovered entity are not promising. Scientific and military units recommend continued observation and specification upgrades to our existing armada. Oh yeah, no, we're not we're not fucking with that. Wait. I want to destroy the drones because they're annoying. Uh, research the anomaly while you're here. Do 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 do. Ah, I'm finally in the green again. Good. Now you, you could do with a couple of destroyers, I think. The pirate fleet is inbound. It's likely our preemptive strike was successful both in provoking and damaging them. Their fleet is roughly 30% smaller than... Oh, they just, they just teleport right in. Okay, but they are also really weak, so... I actually kind of feel like my... <laughs> I feel like my star base... <laughs> I feel like my star base can take them. Yeah. Yeah. Thirty for life. I was worried. I thought it was gonna be like some big, like some two thousand point, whatever, like big fleet of of space pirates. Nah, just 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 some fucking losers. Okay. Well, that was less worrying than I than I feared. That was less of a problem than I thought. System survey complete. Okay. Starbase on Rick Sim. Oh, right, right, right. Yeah, but I don't really need to build. I'll build a solar panel network. Yes, I will. I'll build that, because I need it. Und then. System survey complete. Do -do 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 Kappa aliens. <laughs> okay. I don't have any envoys for you, though, so you'll have to wait. Uh, I'll tell you that I'm going to kill you later. Go build star bases. No, I don't want to rename it. I want to send it to go grab the thing. Okay, they are now neutral towards me, which is good because I don't want them to be hostile to me until I have the opportunity to destroy them. It's like, where am I at in terms of... I have no idea what their fleet power is like, fair enough. But they're not actively hostile towards me, and that's good enough for me for the moment. Okay, let's see. You, do you have a couple of destroyers in you now? Good, so that puts you up to a thousand power. That's pretty good. Not good enough, but pretty good. You know what, yeah, let's put some service umbilicals. If these are going to be staging grounds for my fleets for the moment, then I might as well decrease the upkeep complete. for the ships that are stationed there. Okay. 
<laughs> a fellow machine needs us. <laughs> Sofont W12 reports that the artificial construction loaded on GE3 is not a structure at all, but rather a colossal robot from a bygone age. This aging mecha mechanical behemoth lies disabled in the mountains, slowly being corroded by the volatile acids that rain on G3. It has notable weapons capabilities and appears to be built as an unmanned spaceship. Oh. If we want to make use of it, we will need to act swiftly before the corrosive environment on G3 renders the robotic warship wholly inoperable. A fellow machine needs us. Yes, that is definitely why we're going. Because a fellow machine needs our help. This is a mission purely, purely out of, out of <laughs> compassion and kindness and fellow feeling for other synthetics such as ourselves. Yes, yes. That's definitely why we want it. Special project complete. Sweet. Okay. Uh, now you. Where are you? You're there. Okay. Uh, he's already building the starbase there, which means we can spend a little bit of extra influence to get you to build one here immediately. Let's see. Active scans. Ooh, bring it up. Absolutely. Situation log adjusted. You're telling me I can have a spaceship? I want a spaceship. Let's see. After successfully translating their language, we have established communication with the independent space station of the Artisan Troop. Organics identified. Communications terminated. A foreign entity has decrypted our communication. A visitor! Oh, this is a joyous occasion indeed. Oh, forgive my manners. I believe introductions are in order. We are the Artisan Troop. Our members have dedicated their lives to the pursuit of art, music, culture, and all the other things which makes existence bearable to sapient beings. <laughs> uh, please, if you would like us to share in the wonder of our creations, please do not hesitate to contact us. Organics identified. Communications terminated. <laughs> oh yes, yes, there you are. I can't even. I can't even actually ask them for the thing that they can give you. Oh, mm, mm, okay, right, fair enough. Okay. Uh Okay, cool. You you get to live for now. <laughs> I'll 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 leave you alone for a second. You you're okay. You're fine. You're fine. You're far away. Doesn't matter. I don't need to exterminate you right now. I can exterminate you later. <laughs> Construction complete. We have reached an impasse with the I fleet identifying itself as the ghost ship. This unusual presence ignored most of our diplomatic overtures. We don't make diplomatic overtures. We can infer that it represents a neutral entity which stands apart from galactic civilization. We suspect that the fleet possesses any owners in the conventional sense. It would take extraordinary measures to reach them. With this in mind, we have summarized our findings for future teams. Blah, 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 blah. A foreign entity has decrypted our communications. Okay, well, now we have some available ones to do more first contact things with... Hello? with you and was there anyone else who first contacted Let's see okay so the artifacts we're looking for are there right that'll take a second uh and then there was you which was where in orvale right that's all the way out there don't have to worry about that right now do 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 Manamana Manamana I'm simulating life. Manamana Gonna kill everything that lives. Oh Manamana building destroyers. Manamana building them soon. Manamana they're kind of expensive. I need some more money before I can build them all. But I am patient, Manamana. But I am patient. I don't Special need to kill complete. them just yet. I can wait. Okay, you go research that thing. You know, I have no reason to let these things live. Do I? But they're so cute, though. But I'm an evil spacefaring, like, murder robot civilization, so I, I kind of, I'm not supposed to. I'm supposed to kill them. I'm supposed to destroy them. But they're cute. Ah, fuck it. They're not sentient. I don't need to see them as a threat. Complete. Or sapient, rather. System survey complete. 
Instead, I have some armies on Beetlejuice that have just received a new target. <laughs> Death comes from the stars. Uh, I should build mining stations here. Why has no one... There's an L-gate out there. I don't want to get someone... Where are all my goddamn science ships? They're there, they're there. They're there, they're there. And then that one's research. Okay, so maybe I should get myself another science ship. Construction complete. At some point or another. And uh, let's just Starbase Outpost want to colonize. Technological acquisition successful. Let's see. The engineering units manning the fort of uh, a mysterious warship, blah, blah, has been successfully extracted from the planet's hostile atmosphere. Its corroded components have been repaired and replaced where necessary, including its discharge power core. As the hulking warship was powered back on and regained operative status, it became evident that the machine possesses a notable degree of artificial intelligence. We can communicate with it. Hey, hello, hi. How are you doing? Booting systems, activating bio interactive interfaces. Warning, diagnostics in the upper run for 1,761,125 days. Would you like to run them now? Describe the entity responsible for your destruction. Makers. Correct. Your makers. Describe them. Makers. It appears the new unit entered an infinite loop. Abort. Are you makers? Negative. XT-489 units are not your makers. Hardware management systems have identified several foreign devices. Please confirm origin. XT-489 units perform repairs to your systems. New entities performed restorative operations. Provided hardware replacements. Ergo. New entities are makers. We are not your makers, though we did repair you. Unit blah 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 was isolated from command units. Unit blah blah was unable to escape hazard of planetary environment. On day blah blah, blah unit blah blah's reserve generators failed. Units faced gradual molecular dissolution due to hostile f surface solvents. Yet units uh, persists. New entities performed reparations. Unit will serve new entities. Then you will be integrated. Welcome. Yes. <laughs> mine. Mine. Excellent. <laughs> Hell yeah. Dun, 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 Situation dun. log adjusted. Investigate the moon. Do, 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 do. You should probably get towards and join up with one of my armies. But I do want to have a closer look at you. Hey, buddy. What do you look like? Ooh. Well, out of your fancy little thing. I tickle at you. Just a Corvette, but a pretty powerful one. I like it. Oh, so many colonizable planets. I must have them all. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, that's not good. Uh, while exploring some ruins, we're near one of our major seven on Capsic Prime. A few colonists inadvertently... Why would robots do this? Activated the timer on an un detonated hydrogen bomb still left over from the moon's previous nuclear war. With an estimated yield of 35 megatons, the boot bomb will wipe out several population centers if it detonates. It isn't stable enough to be moved, and there's no time to... Situation okay, adjusted. I guess we're doing that now. Immediately. Anomalous surface variable detected. System survey complete. Construction complete. That is non-ideal, is what that is. And grab me. Kappa aliens are out there. I probably don't want to build a space station right next to them. Build me a starbase. My empire size is growing a little bit fast. Anomalous surface variable detected. Oh, automation stockpile. Yes, I shall pump some more into that. Abduct them! Abduct them! Abduct them all! Get me another destroyer for this armada. Construction complete. Okay, you're done there. Excellent. Go grab this one. You're done here. Good. You can't grab that one, so don't go, don't do that. But go grab this one. Or at least move there. What, what am I lacking? Alloys, of course. 
In the meantime, you go do construction shit. I'm grabbing new systems left and right. Construction complete. Okay, let's see. Upon closer examination, we've discovered that the smaller asteroid consisting entirely of precious metals recently blah blah. It doesn't matter. Special project complete. Ooh, the mysteries of Kafsik Prime have been revealed. A detailed survey revealed the moon is slightly lopsided with the far side of the moon having a disproportionately large share of the total mass. The reason for this, we believe, is that Kavsek Prime once orbited another planet which was destroyed in a cataclysmic explosion. The extra thickness on the far side of Kavsek Prime is because that was the side that faced the original planet. The extra material is part of the mass of that planet which was blown into Kavsek Prime, knocking it out of orbit and sending it eventually into the orbit of Kavsek Prime. Ooh. We speculate that the planet was destroyed by a weapon or perhaps just an attempt to create a power source based on dark matter as there are high concentrations of it in the planetary material coating the far side of the moon. Mmm, cool. System survey complete. Again, that's the thing I talked about, like that sense of being part of a universe that's been alive for so long and you're just this tiny new little thing stepping out into it. Successful. What is costing me all of this? Produced 21... Oh, leaders. It's just all because I have too many science robots. Okay. Uh, oops. How, how, how do I make unity? <laughs> Uplink nodes. Turn energy credits into unity. Oh, okay. So that's probably my best bet there. I can only build one per planet. Yeah. Fair enough. At least that's what it seemed like. Oh, these produce unity as well. Uplink node. Is that just down at the... Is that just because it's down at the very bottom, then? Oh, yeah. Okay. Uh, do that, then. Let's have, a, let's have another uplink node, actually. Construction complete. Anomalous surface variable detected. Oh, I can't merge these? Well, that's annoying. You're not allowed to merge with it. Okay. Well, fair enough. System survey complete. It'll just have to come along. Planetary pacification protocols. Ooh, initiated. you look cool. I'm I'm gonna destroy you, but you look cool. Special project complete. Okay, good, good, good. Bonk God Radar, you. Now let's go and do the same thing here. Bronze Age. Aw, adorable. Hopefully the Kappa aliens won't interfere with it. Um, a detachment of covert operation drones left by blah blah managed to seize a small Kappa alien logistics vessel. It turned out that the ship was exclusively manned by mechanical drones, perhaps guided by an AI like our own rogue defense system. Undeterred, our team disabled and captured them with only minor damage, while also managing to leave most of the vessel's hardware and computer systems intact. Though the operation went without a hitch, and our operatives were able to escape without pursuit, it's probably too much to hope that the Kappa aliens remain ignorant of our success. We have no need of survivors. We'll just, we'll just, we'll just run away. Hey! Oh no! <laughs> oh no, it's another machine civilization. Uh-oh. <laughs> That's a problem. Oh man, I need another leader to manage my thing. I don't have no unity though, and I'm not gaining any. Eh, okay, well that'll have to wait. Then. Still, uh, let's just get you know, the plants and sectors get you into balance. Actually, production maybe. What does this thing have for? Yeah. Oh no, definitely production. Oh no, wait, not production actually.
balanced there. Um, but instead, you, colony designation, become a... Either a generator world or a forge world. Uh, it's like... I guess it's like a refinery world, really. Oh, no, wait, that's not for alloys. I guess you kind of have to be a forge world, don't you? To be efficiently used. Yeah. Fair enough, that's fine. That's okay by me. Um, go grab. And go. Yeah, that's the danger, isn't it? It's like... They already have, like, fleets of things inside. Yeah, it's a lot of vessels, too. They already have those inside my borders, so I kind of need to move. My fleet and the war form, I think, will have to go over there. Uh, you have the four destroyers, right? Three destroyers, fair enough. Let's get another couple of destroyers out here. To join in with that. I think I want to leave my other fleet down here. Do I? I mean, there's clearly... Ooh, boy. Mm, okay, that's probably either an advanced civilization or mining drones. I would have to imagine that that's mining drones. Hanging out down here. Mm. Mm, okay. Well, I'm not, I'm not exactly under any immediate military threat from down here, but, like, the shipping alliance is right down there, so... I don't know. 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 Alert. Station engaged. Oh, God. Okay. Yeah. There we go. No. Get out of there. Get. Leave. Oh, no. Okay. Well, hmm. Yeah, that's not ideal, is it? Uh, let's actually... Okay, uh, could you... Oh my god, you're surrounded. <laughs> you're very surrounded. Oh dear. Oh dear. Well, this is most unfortunate. Yeah, let's see if we can't get a defense platform up there. Spaceport deconstructed. Anomalous surface variable detected. Hey, surface variable one of the detected. armies survived. That's something. Oh no, they're all there. Cool. Go, go get. Well, no, don't get, get go get repaired. Go, continue with your original mission. Land the armies. Like, they left, so that's fine. Let's see. Blah, 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 blah. Pulling electrical filaments, blah, blah, blah. Fascinating, blah, blah, blah. Research, cool. But no, yeah, they, they're they hostile right System now, so we complete. need to deal with them now. Ground invasion units have achieved all objectives. Situation log adjusted. Why can I not... No? Oh, they're splintered consciousness. Oh, they're not robots. Well, bye. A foreign entity has decrypted our communications. <laughs> Come on, they're identified as non-organic. Come on. Oh, well, we've already <sighs> we've already attacked them, so. But they're not organic, so I don't actually have to be hostile towards them. I can I can do diplomacy with them. We can have diplomacy, yay! Let's let's try diplomacy with the machine guys. Uh, improve some relations, please. Hi, sorry about that. D 
didn't mean to. Uh, <laughs> Let me just check my policies. My borders are closed, right? Yes, good. But we're no longer actively hostile to one another, so that's good. They have closed our board, their borders to us, though. Oh, that is within their borders. Okay. Darn, I wanted those. No. Because this is kind of vulnerable. I have, like, three planets that are, like, directly in the firing line of the shit, so that's not ideal. Okay, well, you can move back down to... Beetlejuice and hang out then. While the Corvette, the destroyer here, standalone destroyer, move up here. We just, uh, just we have a slight tension on the border there, so we're just gonna we're just gonna be a little cautious. Anyway, I have an envoy for you now. You seem organic though, so I can probably kill you. <laughs> Burn it with fire. Let's see. Blah blah. Organic lifeless matter. Yeah. Death. Death to organic life. Um. Ooh, half aliens. They're hostile immediately also. Okay. Well, that's tedious. Do, 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 do. Okay. Uh, do I want to go? Yes. Build a star base. Build it. Build the star bases. Star base building. Building star bases. Okay. Finally producing some unity again. Uh, Empire size from districts down wouldn't be the worst thing in the world. Um, Increased ship build speed and less upkeep would also be good. Uh, let's start with that, because I'm going to need to build a bunch of ships, and I want their maintenance to be low! Okay, so I have a starbase here. I probably want to make a decent starport out here, so I can reinforce my fleets from there. Complete. Construction complete. Okay. System survey complete. Okay, all right, okay, all right, all right, okay. Colonize. System survey complete. Good. Uh, Starbase. Anomalous surface variable detected. Just. Construction complete. Hella expansion right now, I think, is the play. Uh, sorry, similar blah blah blah. Hypothesis this is in fact a living organism. Whole. Not a civilization, but just a thing. Ha ha. Ha ha. Ah oui oui, ha ha. S'il vous plaît, abouvou. Voulez-vous coucher, coucher avec moi? Etc. Other French words. This, by the way, all this mumbling and talking to myself that I'm doing, this is not something I'm putting on for the video. I do I do this when I play this. It's just, that's just how I play video games. Um, it's just Assistance what I do. Complete. Construction complete. Okay. Uh, I think we want to go get there and, like, shore up. Like, then we can grab... Yeah. Uh, or do we want to head down towards this little? Because we have these guys. Like they're going to be closing in on shit. Um, so. Probably want to go shore up this. Because like, this is a huge. 
thing. I want to I want to have Damium at the very least, right? Um I guess I could just go start with that and work my way backwards, but I would also really like for this to be surveyed at some point or another. Um Yeah, go build a star base in Damien. It's a little more expensive, but it'll secure that space moderately. Okay, you. Where are you? You're there. Research the project there. Anomalous surface variable detected. Construction complete. Okay, things are going okay. Things are going okay. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Colonize. This one's already been colonized, right? Nope. Now it is. Colonize. Let's see. Blah, blah, uninhabited and uninhabitable, blah, blah, blah. Tall cenotaphs carved from some mineral not native to the planet. Evidently placed here by some artistically inclined spacefaring race. Special project complete. Let's see. Studying the wreckage of the two cyber warforms over Brokimar has concluded that they were most likely destroyed while fighting each other. Ah. This theory explains the lack of non cybrex debris and feels the damage plans, blah, blah, blah. The two missing cybrex vessels turned on each other remains a mystery, however. They were both their modernized, blah, blah, triggers some kind of self destruct mechanism. Okay. Cool. Cool. Totally bogus, man. Now, you, go go survey this shit. I'm tired of not knowing what's... I want to scout more in that direction, actually. I kind of want you, after you're done with Elrov here, I want you to turn around and start Anomalous scouting down towards detected. that other civilization. Because I want to know what they're doing. I want to have some idea. Some semblance of knowledge. Some... General concept. I want to know. I want to know what they're doing. Okay, you're done eliminating things on this world, right? Yes. Good. Then you can go and land uh, back on Bardican, I guess. Armies. Let's see. Our communications. Blah, blah, blah. Enigmatic entity. It's blah, 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 blah. Okay, cool. So it's just hanging out. Just hanging out in... Oh, well, that seems bad. That's a lot of black. That, that shouldn't be possible, right? <laughs> I'm not a space scientist, but, but I'm pretty sure black holes shouldn't do that. Uh... That's not how they're supposed to hang out. And then there's just like these... Okay, well, that's... Okay, well, you guys just... Yeah, uh, we're cool. You can just hang out there. Uh, that is fine with me. And then we don't have to talk, ever. That is actually completely okay. See, where else are there Cybrex artifacts? Well, there was one here, I already found that one. So this one is Ovales. Aha, Othriga. But that's behind the excavation. Okay, I don't want to do the excavation right now. I want to explore. Ooh, I want to explore. I want to explore. I want to know stuff. Construction complete. Give me a shipyard. And an anchorage, I think, actually. And... A uh, disruption field generator. Probably good. Actually, no service umbilicals to decrease the maintenance of that fleet. Better. I want to colonize. It has an anomaly. Okay, I need to get rid of the anomaly. Okay, well, okay. All right, fine, fair enough. Fair enough, I guess. Who's the closest sign ship? 
Oh, fucking no one. Okay, well, that's great. Love that. That's wonderful. You. Can't colonize it because there's an anomaly. Me, 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 me. E. It's off. Yarn. Anomalous surface variable detected. Hello, System Blue War. You're just hanging out, I see. Not sure what to do with lure. Like, <laughs> is it just gonna go around forever? Just like, uh, just hanging out. Construction complete. Okay, so that seems to be like a dead end down here, right? Or at least we can't detect any hyperspace lanes. So that's probably whatever's down there. That's probably fine. Um. I have a science ship going that way now, so you also go that. Like, I, I really do want to scout around down here for a bit. Because I want to know! Construction complete. And try and connect us up with our territory there. Thank you. Construction complete. Let's see. The void clouds may be among the oldest entities in the universe. They seem to have originated just a scant few billion years after matter we know it has first appeared. The tremendous forces of the young cosmos making something out of nothing. They would have been stars once, but were not. Exploring their apparent animal intelligence is more difficult, but the answer might lie in the abnormally strong electromagnetic fields that keep them together, another product of their primordial beginnings. It is not inconceivable that, given enough time, the circulation of its strange stardust and gravitic fields aligned in a flexible approximation of neural pathways or computational circuits. Moreover, the clouds seem to be receiving impulses from one another, if not outright communicating. Light years apart, quantum entanglement is suspected to play a role in this phenomenon. Yeah, uh... I want to kill them eventually because they seem to be alive and we can't have that. That is, that is it's it's not acceptable. <laughs> System survey complete. It is illegal Technological to remain orcs alive and some form of organic non-synthetic life. Construction complete. Okay. Uh, Construction complete. By intercepting a message sent to the Strakon Shipping Alliance, we have learned that they are in regular contact with another spacefaring empire that we ourselves have no contact with. By tracing this message to a source, we've been able to establish our own line of communication with this previously unknown actor on the galactic stage. Great! Uh, you are a hive mind? Okay, I mean, that's... I can sort of... Uh, I can sort of, like, ignore you for a second. And, like, that's that's fine. I don't need you to be destroyed right now. Because you're far away. And I'm sure I'll have time to deal with you later. We are called the XT-489 Eliminators. Hi, hello. <laughs> We're friendly. We come in peace. We promise. <laughs> uh, what a thing to name yourself, right? Like, we are the Eliminators. Prepare to be respectfully engaged with in diplomatic dialogue. <laughs> It would be kind of funny to make a spacefaring civilization and just be like, yeah, no, these are the Death Machine 5000s. They are completely peaceful, only interested in diplomacy. <laughs> that might be a fun gimmick for a game, like like a game where I'm not even allowed to have like an offensive armada. <laughs> just only peaceful. Construction complete. Okay, more first contacts. You, hello, have an envoy. How shall we destroy you today? Hello, we're the XTA 489s. We'll be your eliminators today. It's a bomb! Destroy it! Oh, yeah, no, I. Uh, it's the discovery of the airtight capsule containing an atomic clock. Okay, Bijal 9. That's not one of the places I have colonized, right? Like, there's not a planet there with my people on it. Nah! Keep an eye on it. If something blows up out there, I don't care. I don't have to give it in. I'm not losing any resources. That might be an interesting explosion to watch. Okay. Construction complete. Anomalous surface variable detected. Alert. Non-standard space entity encounter. Yeah, cool. Uh, where? Out in Dur. Okay. Yeah, okay, so you'll just run away from them. I very much encourage you to. OK, 
Okay, but I don't have an envoy for you because I'm busy trying to not go to war with the other robots. Although it seems to not be... It seems to not be helping. Oh, we don't have enough intel. Right, okay. Well, hmm. Hmm. System survey complete. I'm just gonna slow the game down for a second here. Okay, so I don't have enough intel to uh, figure out what the hell, but uh, can't build a spy network either. Here, have a trade deal. You can have our food. You get, you can have all of it, actually. There, 18 per month. I don't I don't need it for anything, so there you go. All yours. I like other machines. I, I want to be friendly with you and eventually subjugate you into my empire. But I want to be friendly. I don't want to destroy you. You, you I'm cool with. Everyone else, death. Death immediately. No cake. No option for cake. Just death. Uh, but you, ah, you're cool, man. I, I like you. Seem nice. You merge together, upgrade yourselves, upgrade yourself. There you go, construction ship. What are you doing out there? You are waiting for influence so that you can build a star base, right? I do want to get the star base on Alistair A stars if I can. That would be good. Construction complete. But you can just start construct. I've got some mining stations to build now, uh, so let's just do that. Everything's going so well. Everything's going cool and good, and everything's fine, and there's no cause to worry. Because there are no problems. Survey complete. And nothing bad will ever happen. Ever. To anyone except me. Or to. To, mm, to me. Nothing bad will ever happen to me, but to everyone else, it will. Okay, as the blah blah explodes, the bear in the first reports. This is an unnatural wasteland with no sign of life above the water's surface. However, the planet's aquatic life has evolved well past the point where we would expect some species to make forays onto dry land. Additionally, the crew discovered what originally appeared to be various ancient-looking sand-covered structures. Shortly after they began digging into these apparent bug buildings, small swarms of nanites emerged and began harassing the researchers. It seems the buildings are formed not from sand, but by billions of microscopic nanites. Once mobilized, these swarms quickly multiplied, awakening more and yet more of the dormant hole. Safont 19D ordered a swift evacuation of the planet, allowing 489 research for just enough time to escape the atmosphere with a swarming storm of nanites in hot pursuit. The remaining swarm now seems agitated and it's not calming down. <laughs> Situation Oops. Adjusted. Whoopsie doopsie. Augmentations completed. Yes, good, good. Uh, I can't build that many more star bases, so I should be a little careful about it. Construction complete. Okay. Uh, <sighs> colonize. Colonize. Oh, okay, already has a planned colony. Good. System survey complete. Colonize. Colonize. I sound like a System British person. Complete. Let's see. Mm hmm. Our research subroutines have finished investigating the reports of extraordinary free floating crystal structures observed in the STX. STXT 489 system. Their findings are startling. The ship sized objects and their slightly smaller but equally crystal like satellites, blah, 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 blah. Sudden shifts in their orientation relative to our ships and new 
Energy signatures emerging from within the prisms indicate that they should be regarded as hazardous and approached with caution. We can either attempt to engage the, with the potentially ha dangerous objects directly or establish remote surveillance and serve them from a safe distance. Where are, are they, though? Where, 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 where exactly are these tall aliens, actually? Right, so maybe I don't want to, maybe I don't, maybe I don't, maybe I don't, oh no, they're not here. They are somewhere else, okay. Uh, shit, well, where the fuck is that then? I don't even know where I encountered them. Okay, well, I'm, I'm role-playing as, as hostile, so hostile is what I am. Finally found a planet that's like, <laughs> that I cannot colonize <laughs> because of nanites. Oh no, I guess there's some way to fix that. Okay, constructor. You're not doing anything. Uh, build a mining station. And you keep going out on surveying. And you keep going out and surveying. Yes, yes. Everything's proceeding. Going for, for a couple of hours soon. And I think that's about as long as I want these episodes to be. This is Stellaris. I don't really think a one-hour episode makes a lot of sense for if I wanted to do this as content. But we'll see. We'll see how this video does. Planet like, if you've made it this far in the video, let me know. <laughs> Let me know in the comments if you cared enough to watch a 4X game being played for this long. Technological acquisition successful. Because I will say, it's not the kind of thing that I would choose to watch. Like, I don't think I would choose to watch a 4X Let's Play. Technological acquisition successful. But that's sort of the same thing. Like, but that's also like sort of a... I think there's also a little bit of imposter syndrome in that, in that I'm thinking in terms of like, well, nobody could ever find what I'm doing here right now engaging, so, you know. So, and so I sort of project that, and it's like, so no one could possibly find anything like this engaging at all, which is not true. Tame the swarm? Has self-evolving logic, okay. Oh, but I can't, oh. Study further, okay, let's study them further. System survey complete. We have located what we believe could be an ancient subspace gateway near Brune Singular. Okay, this is the L cluster thing, right? Situation log adjusted. Yeah, the L cluster thing. Right, right, right. Okay. Uh, is the things getting better? Yeah. They're getting better very slowly. Hooray! Very slowly better. <laughs> Good. Yay. I'm sorry. I didn't know you were robots. I thought you were organics and needed to be destroyed. I want to subjugate you, but I won't tell you that yet. Okay, then. I guess there's nothing for you to research there. Fair enough. What are the other anomalies hanging out in my systems? I might as well make some progress on you. Uh, let's see what we got, what we got, what we got, what we got. Um, just the one? Level eight one? Oh, we got one down there as well. Well, go research that one. That's probably a good thing to do. Planetary settlement procedure initiated. System survey complete. System survey complete. Good, 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 good. Construction complete. Let's make a new sector. Assign a new governor. I can finally afford to build a governor, which is nice. More unity, yes, please. Construction complete.
<laughs> I'm gonna come out there. I'm gonna colonize and destroy you. Construction complete. Oh, it's gonna be good. It's gonna be grand. It's gonna be great. Anomalous surface variable detected. Do 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 do. Making progress, Anomalous making progress, variable. progress time. Technological acquisition. And colonizing buildings, bases. Wherever I find a chance to kill organics. Okay, time to colonize you. And time to colonize you! Soldier boy, you! System do, do, do. survey complete. Let's see. Get the research. Surface variable detected. To do. Hmm. A study may expedite future extermination. A Let's study them. Has decrypted our communications. More efficient extermination? Yes, please. Construction complete. That is all of the things I like. System survey complete. Let's see. Exelon is exceptionally rich in blah blah blah. Uh, so anything, unfortunately, no use to us. Blah blah blah. And potentially more positron bombs. Situation Fuck yeah, positron adjusted. bombs. You know I'm on board. Anytime it's about bombing something with positrons, my favorite kind of bomb, probably. Construction complete. Special project complete. Do do do. I am growing real big, real quick. I quite like that. So space amoebas out there can't really deal with them right now. But it'd be nice if I could. If this is like this looks like it's closed off. It's a closed loop. So I don't have to worry about that right now, unless there's like a subspace gate in there or something that's annoying. Um, but okay. Build research stations. No observation posts. We know what to do. Hello, little armies. Are you ready for a good time? Do you want to go on a field trip? Renaissance age. Oh! <laughs> Renaissance age, that might pose no challenge at all, actually. Planetary settlement procedure initiated. Construction complete. That's one of the bits of ideology in this game, though. And I mean, I say ideology in a lighthearted manner, but the ideology of, like, this, this, this anthrocentrism um, that does exist. Construction complete. Why would you declare us your rival? Oh, I see why. Okay. Yeah, no, I get it now. Um, mm, 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 mm. Yeah, all right. Okay. Uh, shit. That's not great. Um, I am gonna build a starbase around Thabit. It's not really... Like, Damium is the choke point. Yeah, no, it has to be Damium, doesn't it? Because that's the choke point that I'm going to need to defend. Uh, if I could get to Dargan, that would be good. Could you maybe dash over there? Uh, hell, okay. Mm. If I could get Dargan, that would be good. Like, that would be the perfect choke point to, like, hold off against them. And then that, along with, I guess, I'll move you guys from Beetlejuice over to Cavsec. Because then that and Cavsec will basically wall them off. Like, that basically locks them off from their entry points into my space. 
Oh, actually, that's not even... That's a DAR. It's the DAR integrators. Who I don't... Who I, I'm hoping not to have to worry about so much. Huh. Because, like, maybe, maybe we could be not so... Angry with each other, we are robots. We like each other, cause robots like each other. Robots, yay, robots, fellow robots. No hostility. I can't declare them my rivals because we do not negotiate with fleshlings. <laughs> okay, that's fair enough. That's fine by me. Okay, so slight, that's a... That's a slight crisis point then. Which suits me just fine. Because that makes for a pretty good stopping point. We now have, we have like achieved pretty damn good expansion. We don't seem to have an immediate rival on the eastern frontier, at least not that we've encountered yet. Uh, there might be something with the Kai aliens over here, uh, but that still leaves us with like a big... If I can get Dargan, I still have like a huge chunk of space that I can grab and resource... Uh, exploit over here. Hopefully make friends with the Dar Integrators and then use them as a bulwark against the Sraycon Shipping Alliance, who are filthy organics and must be purged. And we have the Galactic Core in there, so nothing's going to come from that direction. Hopefully. At least until it's crisis time. But uh, I think that's going to be the end of that. Oh, actually, that's the wrong file that's playing back the credits right now. There we go. Those are the correct credits. If you've enjoyed hanging out with me in the world of Stellaris, I very much appreciate it. And uh, if you want to see more, let me know. Like, if this is something like, hey, I can put this on on another screen and look over occasionally kind of fun thing. Or if you just enjoy Stellaris being played by someone, uh, let me know in the comments. This is experimental, obviously. I don't know if I'm going to do more. I'm definitely going to keep playing this campaign, though. I do want to be a robot exterminator of the galaxy. So, yay. Anyway... Thank you for watching this far, if you have. Again, let me know in the comments if you made it. Um, be kind to one another. Have solidarity with those who are worse off than yourselves. And may the tides of history, unlike my robot empire, wash gently over us all. <laughs>